product is going to be MAC. It's a highlighter. Uh, it is soft and gentle mineralized, mineralized skin finish. So this, um, you can use it on top of your cheekbones, obviously as a highlighter that go, then goes a little bit over your eyebrows, um, on your nose, the bridge of the nose. Um, the pointed area, whatever that's called, um, that cupid area, or whatever it's called between the nose and the upper lips. Um, if you want to give, add a little bit shine to your eyeshadow, you can put it on top of there. Um, I even tried it on top of my lips, like a little bit in the between, you know, to give that shine. Um, and it has worked wonders. I know how you guys always open it with one hand. I always have trouble doing that. Um, give me a second guys, cause this is going to give me a hard time. As you guys can tell, I already have been using it. Look at the outer edge. Um, now for the most part, most of my eyes, uh, uh, shadows, palettes, wait, let me rephrase that. Most of my highlighters are really more of like those palettes. Um, I may only have two that are not palettes that I can stick on my top of my head. One is from Urban Decay and this is the other one. Um, so this is under, once again, the light from there. I don't have my camera light on. Let me show you how it goes on with the camera lights. This is how it looks with the camera lights on. All right, and then this is without the camera light. Obviously, my finger shades are coming in there, shadows. So, this right here is how it looks. What is that between my nails? Oh, it's being there like that. But that's how it looks, right? And then, uh, I just did a quick swatch on my hands, and that's how it looks like. So, uh, let me put it on with the light and let me show you guys. That's how the swatch looks like. And the finger that I swatched with looks like that. So, honestly speaking, this is, um, like I mentioned in my previous video. Let me turn the light off. Um that not my previous video but one of my more recent swatch videos um it was for the lipstick um that i mentioned in that a lot of times what happens is that i would normally swatch it on my fingers like i swatch it with, this is before the pre-covid because now they don't really let you swatch uh normally whenever i would swatch um it would look great on my hands back of my hands how i did it with my fingers um in regards to this, right? So what would normally happen is that it would look really nice or like really, um, like in this case, it will look really, you know, um, it looks pigmented. It is pigmented. I'm not going to lie. It is not heavily pigmented, but somewhat, um, as you can tell, like if, um, if you swatch it, just like that because you're not really blending it in or anything. It looks like it's pretty glittery. Um, and it's going to be heavy highlighted on wherever you put on your face. Even on your co um, collarbones. Um, on your neck a little bit to give that glow. Um, you can put it on there too. Um, it will look like that's a lot. But once you blend it on your face or neck wherever you do it. It's not going to look as, oh my god, a lot as you would normally think when you're swatching it. Um, because when you're swatching it, you're not really um, blending this. So, um, I know the lipsticks and the lip liners and stuff like that are an exception because you're not really swatching. You're not really blending those when you're um, uh, applying those on your lips. Uh, however, they do become slightly different shade because one, it's a different lighting than um, if you didn't realize that um different lightings kind of give different shades like for example when you're doing inside unnatural lighting um like if you're f doing it under the uh, light bulbs and when you go outside in the natural light it, it's gonna be different color like not different color but it's gonna look your makeup might look slightly different there are high chances it will which is why they normally say that go f try to do your makeup in natural lighting so like that you know you don't have really much of an issue i guess um 
and you can see a difference like the store lighting will be is way more different than your room lighting um, the reason why I'm saying is that um, the way they set up the lights is kind of making you, you know, the color pop and make, you know, subconsciously your colors will look a little bit different with the way they have lighting. And they have light a lot more lights than you would do at home. And there isn't really natural lighting in that sense in the room. So just keep that in mind. Um, other thing I do want to mention is now getting back to this, like I was mentioning, is that um, when you really swatch, you're not really kind of um blending it in unless if you swatch with one finger and start rubbing in the back of your hands back of your palm um like in that sense you will get some kind of a slight idea how it will look because you kind of blend it into your palms or back of your hand already so it's kind of understandable so normally with me i haven't really bought any highlighters or as such recently the only thing i bought in pandemic was really the lipstick lip liners and a foundation and everything else was more of skincare and hair care products so um i haven't really swatched any products because clearly during covid nobody wants you to be swatching makeup just in case to avoid the um the passing of the germs and some people like to apply products directly um so and if they're allowed to do swatches, obviously they will have to, the workers or employees will have to constantly clean the, uh, the brushes and the products and stuff. So to avoid that, they just don't allow you to swatch. But however, um, pre-COVID, I would swatch like, you know, just one finger like this and I would look at it and like, oh, okay, I, I kind of like it, you know, um, and then I will probably then swipe one back of my hand um however this on my face i actually like how it kind of looks natural on your face but then at the same time you still get that glow on your face like where you actually intend to have it so i kind of like that normally the urban decay one that i was telling you guys about earlier that one is where it kind of like the the shine is just immaculate with that one. So this is just more of me being like, okay, this is kind of goes a little bit more natural. I know it has that um, brownish nude color in this. It actually doesn't really reflect on your skin like that. So you don't have to worry about making your skin look a little bit darker. So that is um, not something to worry about. Or even somebody who is... Um, fair skinned like me this wouldn't really much have the shade that's being shown wouldn't really have much of a difference on your skin besides the glowing part and then if you're somebody who is dark skin like chocolate um aspect um then you don't have to worry about it either again because it's more of like shimmer that is being reflected on your skin um so yeah you guys don't really have to worry about that. Um, other than that, I will be linking both my Instagram pages down below. Make sure to follow them, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.